Hello, lovies, and welcome back to Ladija's Creations. Lovies, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and take this time to click on that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified of future uploads. For this DIY, I'm getting ready to show you guys how to make a wall shelf. And I am still in the process of making over my daughter's bathroom. And the shelf is going to be 24 inches wide by nine inches long. I'm going to be working with those one by three boards. And if you don't know anything about wood when you're building, even though my shelf is going to be 24 inches by nine inches wide, these pieces right here cannot be nine inches. You have to take into consideration the thickness of the wood and the thickness of the one by three boards that I'm working with is three quarters of an inch. So the overall length of this is going to be nine inches long. But as I said before, you have to take into consideration the thickness of the wood so even though this total length is nine, you have to take off three quarters of an inch here and three quarters of an inch here to get the length that you need to cut right here. So these four pieces are seven and a half inches for a total of nine inches long. I have gone ahead and placed marks on the wood where I'm going to be drilling my pilot holes. And let me, as you all can see, I've gone ahead and I prepared the wood for the second shelf that I'm going to be building as well. I am going to be doing a dry fit of the shelf before I actually place it on the wall. And let me be mindful of whatever wood that you're working with, just because this is three quarters of an inch. The other thickness of wood that you can purchase may not be three quarters of an inch. So whatever the thickness of that wood is that you're working with, you have to take and deduct the thickness of it. I'm just adding my screws into the pilot holes that I've already pre-drilled. And that is giving me that piece right here, which is going to go up on the wall. And then I'm going to be placing this piece across the front. Okay, lovey, so what I'm doing now is just doing a dry fit just to make sure that everything fits perfectly before I actually get it up on the wall. So I'm going to go ahead and add my screws. I did add pilot holes to this, but I broke my drill bit in another project that I would have used. And the one that I used was really small, so that's why the wood is crying. But I did drill pilot holes. And that's a perfect fit. Now what I'm getting ready to do is to go ahead and place the top on. And as I said, I'm doing a dry fit just to make sure that everything fits perfectly. So, this is fitting perfect. What I'm getting ready to do is to go ahead and drill pilot holes in here and take it all loose and place it on the wall. I drilled the pilot hole right there and I'm going to drill one over here. And then I'm going to place two down here. But right now I'm going to go ahead and put the screws in. This is a dry fit before I place it on the wall. <laughs> Lovies, always keep your vacuum nearby when you're working with wood.
I know that these are drywall screws, but honey, I'm using what I have available. I'm not going to the store to purchase something when I can use these. And they are working out fine. Okay, lovies, if you're like me and you don't own a stud finder, here's a little test that I do. And I'm going to share it with you guys. I normally knock on the wall. I don't know if y'all can tell the difference between this sound right here that is hollow and that sound that sounds like something is behind it. So what I take and do is take a nail and thankfully I'm working with a line on the wall where you won't be able to see my nail prints. But what I take and do is I will take a little small nail and hammer in that area. And when you have hit wood, you will know that you've hit a stud. Now, I thought that a stud was right here. Note I had marked that. Let me show you what happens to show you that there is not a stud there. When it gets so far in, it'll just go straight on in. There's no stud there. See how it just goes in? There's no stud there. Okay, lovey, so this is the way the shelf is going to be placed up here. I have placed one fitting screw back there just to um, get the shelf up on the wall and get it level. However, my studs are right there and over here. So I will be drilling two more screws into the studs, one on this side and one on that side, and, and then placing this piece right here across the front. However, for this video purpose, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how I would do this. But just know that in my reveal, this shelf would be moved because I don't like how this is not symmetric. Look at the space in between the shower and the mirror. I am not liking that gap right there versus over here. So eventually I'm going to move it over so that it will be even. I'm actually going to be drilling one screw into the stud, but I'm going to use an anchor on the other side. But for this video purpose, I just want to show you guys how to uh, create a wall shelf. Okay, let me, so I'm getting ready to show you guys how I would assemble this. Make sure that it's even on the edges. I've already placed my screws in it. Took the screws out the top, two of them right here. I did have it level when I showed it to you guys at first, but as I told you guys, I just have that temporary screw in there and I'm going to be moving it over. But this is what the chef would be looking like up on the wall. Like I said, this is for video purposes only how to make a shelf. But ladies, this is how the shelf is going to be looking. As I told you guys, there's more work that I'm going to be doing in this bathroom makeover along with the, this shelf. I'm going to be making another one. I will more than likely probably be lowering the shelf. But right now, just for video purposes, I wanted to show you guys how to create the shelf. And, and lovies, as with all good things, they must come to an end. But lovies, it's time to go. I love you guys, and I want you all to know that I'm always praying for you. And you know what my main prayer is, is that if you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior and your Lord, you will make him your personal Savior and your Lord today. And come on into the kingdom of God and begin to activate and demonstrate the kingdom of God that is within you. Luke chapter 17 verses 20 and 21.